let's get to work. So throughout the 80s and into the 90s, uh, basically my high school years and uh, college, I used a, a DOS word processor called WordPerfect. D WordPerfect was a very powerful program, and it was really the standard office word processor uh, really everywhere. But it was also a very expensive program. And when I was a college student, I couldn't afford to keep upgrading it. So when the next upgrade happened, I needed to find something else to use. And so I looked around and found a shareware word processor program called Galaxy. Galaxy was very powerful. Also had a pretty good price tag attached. It was about $95 or something like that uh, to, uh, to register the program. But it was still very powerful and less expensive than buying a new version of WordPerfect. Uh, and I'd like to show you some of the features that are in uh, Galaxy Write. So let's go ahead and uh, get started with a new document here. So you can see at the top of the screen, I've got uh, these numbers represent the inches uh, along my document within the margins of the document. Um, and uh, the R on the right-hand side shows the, uh, the right-hand margin. And that vertical bar where my, my cursor is blinking shows me the first line indent. I'll get into that in a second. Uh, let me go ahead and type out some, uh, some simple text. Uh, I'll just type, uh, uh, I'll just type uh, lorem ipsum uh, just to indicate that this is uh, uh, sample text. And uh, this is a demonstration of the Galaxy word processor uh, for DOS. I am uh, using the program on FreeDOS version 1.2. So here I've got a uh, three-line paragraph, and you can see that first line indent uh, where lorem ipsum begins uh, is the uh, 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 sort of indented and everything else is uh, flush against the left-hand side. Uh, if I wanted to uh, change the formatting for this, I go into the format menu, and you can see at the top uh, where my menu bar is, I can do Alt-T, and that'll bring up the Format menu. That's why the T is highlighted. And I can choose to change the, the character or the paragraph formatting or the entire document. Uh, and by the way, let me show you the uh, paragraph or the document uh, formatting. I can actually uh, change the uh, paper length and the paper width. I can also add metadata, uh, title of the subject and whatnot, and keywords for the document. This makes it really handy to... Uh, uh, maintain or manage a lot of uh, different documents, for example, in an office setting. But I wanted to go ahead and change the uh, the format for this paragraph. So let's go back into the format menu, and I'll go into the paragraph uh, menu. And you can see here the different ways to uh, format paragraphs. Uh, my cursor is in the upper left-hand side. Uh, I can change it to these different uh, defaults, which is really the uh, the, the standard way of, of uh, writing paragraphs, so they always give you this, this first line indent of, of half an inch. Uh, you can do centered text, you can do what's called a hanging indent, where the first line is against the left-hand side and everything else is indented below it. You can do a first level indent, the second level indent. You can see the examples on the lower right-hand side kind of showing you what all this is going to look like. Uh, the first level bullet, a second level bullet, and numbered lists. Uh, but let's go ahead and demonstrate a hanging indent. You can see that the uh, uh, as I change uh, through all these different menus, uh, you can see what the um, what the example uh, changes to. We can also see the numbers changing in that first line indent, left indent, right indent. Uh, let's go ahead and change it now to a hanging indent. I'll hit return on that, and you can see that it's changed how my paragraph is formatted. This is a really easy way to uh, modify. Uh, text in a uh, uh, in a document uh, with WordPerfect. It was uh, you know you could do all this, but it was I think a little little harder to do. This at least gives you menus, so it's easier to use. Let's go ahead and change the formatting back. So I'll go back to the format menu, and I'll go into paragraph, and I'll just change that back to a default paragraph. Now, if I don't like to have uh, that first line indent, if I wanted to have what's what's called a block paragraph, I go back into the format menu, and then I change the paragraph. And I use tab to go over to that first line indent, oops, uh, and then I would just change that to zero. Uh, and you can see that the example shows I'm going to get a block uh, paragraph. So hit enter, and you can see that I have a block paragraph. Now you can do some other things in here. Uh, let's, uh, let's change some character formatting. So character formatting are going to be things like 
uh, bold and italics. Uh, so you can use uh, the shift, just hold down shift and then use the arrow keys uh, to select a word or you can go up or down to, to select uh, different parts of the document. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and just select the word galaxy. And uh, let's go into the format menu and we're going to select character. And you can see the different ways that I can do character formatting. I can do, you know, body text. Again, my, my cursor is in the left, upper uh, left-hand corner here. Uh, body text, uh, bold, italic, uh, superscript text, subscript text, or a headline. You can see in the middle what uh, each of those definitions are. Uh, and I want to change this to just bold. Uh, let's make this uh, the word galaxy is going to be just bold. So I'll hit tab to get over into the middle and I'll press uh, space to put an X under bold and I'll hit enter. And you can see that now the word galaxy is entirely in bold. Now DOS is all text and so it can't show you different fonts or different font styles. So you don't really get a bold font. They're just going to show it using bright white. Uh, if I hit end and jump to the end of the uh, uh, line, I can I can actually select the word uh, Fridas. Now I could again use my shift key and uh, select the word Fridas, uh, or if I uh, just leave my cursor in the word Fridas, I can go into the edit menu, and you can see there's different ways to select text. I can select uh, text as uh, a word at a time, or I can select the entire sentence or the entire paragraph just the one line that I'm on or all of my text at once. By the way, if I show uh, just selecting the sentence, you can see that I get uh, that entire sentence. I'm using uh, the, the program on FreeDOS version 1.2. Now, uh, let's go ahead and uh, select just the word FreeDOS. So edit uh, and then select word. And now it's selected just the word FreeDOS. And I can now change the formatting for that. Let's make that italics. So I'll go into the format menu. Uh, and character. And uh, I can do bold italic, uh, but there's no regular italic. So I'll go ahead and uh, go up here to uh, body text and I'll just tab my way down to position and I'll put a space in italic and I'll hit enter. And now the word Fridas is green, uh, but that actually is a way to represent uh, that it's going to be uh, italics text. Some other neat things you can do in here. Um, if you go into uh, options, and I'll just bring up the options menu, you can see it's got features like a spell check and a thesaurus. Now these don't exist uh, in the uh, uh, shareware version. If I hit enter on that, you can see that you get a warning. It says, hey, you're running an evaluation copy, and you don't get the uh, the spell checker or the thesaurus uh, until you get the registered version. But they, you know, 100,000 words in the spell checker, and 220,000 words in the thesaurus. That's a that's quite a bit, especially uh, for the 90s. So uh, there's there's quite a bit there. They're doing a little bit of advertising, I guess, as they um, give you that error message. Uh, and just to kind of show you some of the other things that exist in the menus, uh, if I wanted to uh, create a document that had um, uh, headings and 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 footers, uh, I could go into the format menu, and you can see down here I can select a footer for the, uh, or, you know, go ahead and make a footer, uh, and I can uh, just hit enter on that, and and uh, it's going to say, okay, I can options to put this on all pages, or just the first page, or odd evens, uh, and then where it's going to be uh, located in the page. Uh, the My cursor is already uh, highlighting the edit footer, so I'll just hit space on that, and you can see here I get to type in text for my footer. So I could just type in, uh, this is the footer. Now, if I go back into the format menu, I can now go back down to edit document. Oops, uh, edit document. Uh, now, you don't see the footer, you don't see the header on the page while you're typing the text, but it will show up when you print it. Uh, some other things you can do in here, uh, you can obviously bring up the search menu, you can do uh, find replace, which is a pretty standard uh, feature in uh, in word processors. Uh, and then uh, windows, if, if you have a lot of windows uh, to manage, you can actually bring up different um, uh, uh, text windows on the same screen, which is really handy if you're trying to reference something else. Uh, and the way you would do that is you would uh, resize a current window. So I can just hit space on or return on that. And you can see now I get to um, shrink my window. 
uh, and I can even bring it on the right hand side. Um, and uh, it shows you where the original window is, and this is where the new window is going to be. Uh, and I hit enter, and that will uh, now select the uh, uh, the size for my window. I can do it again by moving it. Uh, so if I bring up the window menu, I can go down to move, and I can choose to move that window down to the bottom. And if I wanted to, I could create another window on here that had uh, a different document that I could I could continue to work in. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and uh, stop there. It's just a quick introduction to the Galaxy word processor. So what did you think? What other programs would you like me to demonstrate in the FreeDOS channel? Visit our website at freedos.org. Join us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and consider supporting me on Patreon. Thank you.